Okay, we're at the uh, Mac show here in 2012, and I wanted to shoot a little video um, to illustrate um, the answer to a question that I've received a number of times uh, through email and also through phone calls and here at the show. And that is, <clears throat> when you look at this protein skimmer, this is an INS-180E protein skimmer, and you can see the foam level is about just above the halfway mark on the whole reaction chamber. So this is about a little over 12 inches, so it's about six inches down. And people have asked, you know, how come there's so much empty space down here? And it has to do with the way the reactor reacts to waste in the water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some waste in the system and show you how that level level changes. So I have a bucket of protein waste here. I'll just take this and drop it in the system. And what will happen is you'll start to see that level go down. So look, so we've gone from six inches down to eight inches. And we've also seen the skimmer starting to come to life up here. We open it up some more. Adjusting the outlet assembly to keep the foam level too low. And so now you can see that level has dropped a good two, three inches. And that's the indication that there's more waste in the system and therefore <clears throat> more bubbles are being produced, smaller bubbles are being produced. You can also see in there there's a lot more micro bubbles being produced as well. So that's a phenomenon that you'll notice in the system as the system is, if it's a new system and you have a very light bio load, the bubbles aren't going to be very low in the reaction chamber. But as the system builds up waste and more foods imported, you'll get a lot more foam being produced, bubbles being produced, and more foamate, etc. So again, as you make adjustments to it, you get that level to come up. You're going to be pushing that foam level down. And see as it's removed the waste from the system, you can see right there, pulling it all out. And your bubble level's gone back up again. So, I just thought that would be a good way to show and illustrate how the skimmer reacts to waste in the water and a bio load, versus a heavy bio load versus a light bio load. So, it's Jeff from the Max Show, uh, 2012. If you've got any questions, you can visit us at www.reefdynamics.com or you can call me at 707 733 3411 or email sales at reefdynamics.com. Thanks for tuning in.